Hi, it's uh, Driveway DIY here. Uh, today, I'm going to on this video, I'm going to show you uh, the resistance values of this uh, VW Golf, uh, various other VW uh, coil packs, uh, coil modules. Uh, if you've ever owned a VW, you've probably seen these on all of them. This is uh, especially the older ones. This is their uh, coil supply to their uh, distributor. Uh, it's quite a common part, quite a common part that goes wrong. Uh, I've looked on YouTube, unless you've got a Haynes manual or something like that, I don't even, I'm not even sure whether they show it in that. But resistance values are quite important and try and compare it from one to the other. But this video is just to show you what <coughs> the res res resistance values are for uh, for this coil pack. This is a good one. Uh, I'm just going to show you some uh, measure measures on it. Uh, and hopefully this will help you when you're trying to compare it against uh, if you've got a problem with your ignition coil and trying to find some sort of information. So what I'm going to do, I've got my uh, voltmeter, I'm going to set it to ohms, 20k, down the bottom there. Uh, <coughs> if you can see that, what I'm going to do is get the uh, two leads and uh, hopefully you can see, yeah you can see that. Check my leads as you do when you're checking resistance, make sure it's uh, the leads work. Make sure we get a good uh, res uh, continuity. All I've got to do, I've got the port there where the uh, lead goes from from this ignition coil to the distributor cap. And I've got three pins down the bottom. I believe it's got a white spot there. I believe that's the primary for the primary windings. Uh, could be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. Uh, as, it, as a DIY, I've got nothing to compare it against. So. Uh, I'm going to do some measurements, just to check resistance all around. I mean, what I've read so far is that it's, I don't know, three, three to three thousand to five thousand uh, <coughs> ohms. So that should be should be enough to to say that that's this is a good good unit. But this is I know this is a good unit because I took it off the car that it was working fine on. So I'm going to uh, untangle my leads. And uh, just check, so I've got the first pin here, <coughs> got pin number one, and I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to put it over here so you can see better, so I'm not blocking it, hopefully keep it out of the light because it does tend to uh, block the readings, so number one to uh, to the main port, so I've got pre 3, 3.58, which I believe is a good value. You can see that. Then I'm going to go to the second pin, keeping the black lead 4.55. Then the third pin, you can see that. It's 5.15. Obviously, make sure your connectors are clean and everything when doing this, because it might give you a false reading. So that was going from each pin, from the primary pin, second and third, up to, and then cross-referencing that over to the uh, the main port for the uh, ignition lead. Uh, other things that I'm going to check as well is uh, connections. You see two bits of metal in between. See if there's resistance there. The resistance between there. And then see if there's resistance between the first pin and there as well. So the resistance there and the other one. I think there should be resistance onto the case as well. 1.58. Uh, not too sure about that. Need something to compare it against, but it looks like a good value. Looks like uh, a good bit of resistance. Uh, I'd have to double check that, but. Uh, everything really, everything looks, seems in contact, everything seems to be together. Uh, I do know that, it, that this is a good unit, so getting the resistance readings from that, I'm quite confident that they're the right ones. So when you're, if you're looking to check the resistance of your unit, uh, and you come across this video, hopefully this would uh, point you in the right direction. Obviously, I indoors trying to get the right specs, but as a DIY, 
it's difficult to try and get a lot of this information you do go hunting for it but it seems to uh, be very very across the board really of what people say so unless you can get perhaps going to VW and get and get the right resistance from them but I do believe this is a good unit and it seems to be working all right but obviously if you think it's not then put some comments in the in the description in the comments box below but uh, but yeah but going from the first pin up into uh, the uh, HT port so I've got 3.57 there second pin 4.18, third pin, 5.15, and that seems to be right. That, as far as I'm concerned, this is a good unit, and that and everything was working properly. Obviously, when you check in core packs as well, always check for bubbles, check for arcing, check for uh, for corrosion. Keep it all clean. Make sure there's no uh, cracks or anywhere where water can get in because obviously when this thing's hot when this thing's heating up then that's where a lot of problems can arise as well but as a, uh, as a start for 10 for a DIYer trying to check the resistance I think this is a good pack uh, and hopefully those readings uh, will be something a good point to uh, cross reference point for you to go to uh, and that's it really that's all I'm going to say it's for a VW uh, ignition module my name's DriveYDIY, hopefully this helps. Uh, hope to catch you soon. ta -ra.